Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to make the stick today. If you are an athlete, or run, or lift weights, or work out in any way, you definitely need this product. You can obviously buy it in the store like everybody else and spend 40 bucks, but if you're handy at all and you like to use your hands, um, you can make this product for just under $18. Here's a receipt from Home Depot showing you the things that you'll need and the price of them. You will need a drill bit, a drill, a hacksaw, and a marker to make the stick. If you're not familiar with the tools, I'm sure you have a friend that can help you out with this. This is a 1 inch by 48 inch piece of dowel rod. This is what the stick's handles are made out of and it's what you'll be holding on to as you use the stick on your muscles. Here is a 3 8 inch by 36 inch piece of stainless steel threaded rod. This is the backbone of the stick and will help you apply pressure to your muscles, helping them recover faster by increasing blood flow. Here is two washers and two 3 8 inch nuts. The washers are optional. I found that you don't really need them when you're making the stick. This is a one inch by eight foot long piece of PVC. If you have eight foot of it, you're not gonna need it. You're only gonna use maybe 24 inches of the eight foot. So if you can get a shorter piece, please do. You'll need a 3 8 inch bit and a 3 quarter inch drill bit to drill into the end of the dowel rod. I cut the PVC into 1 inch lengths. You may cut them into shorter or longer depending on how specific you want the pressure on your muscles. The wider, the more broad the pressure is and the more narrow the, the PVC piece, the better pressure you'll have in a certain area. What I'm showing you here is the remnants of what happens after you cut the PVC. It is somewhat messy so you may want to use a drop cloth to prevent any, any more mess than you need. I threw the pieces of PVC into the sink when I was finished cutting them to get rid of all of that PVC um, dust so that it wasn't being tracked all over the house. This is the 3 8 inch drill bit and if you look at that piece of blue masking tape that is marking roughly 3 inches down the piece of the drill bit and when I drill into the end of the dowel rod that is how far I want to go in. Now I decided that 3 inches was just a good distance uh, to drill into the end of the handle. The handle is also 4 inches long, just in case you're wondering how long that is. The handle's 4 inches. I drilled in 3 inches so that the piece of um, 3 8 inch stainless steel rod has enough support so when you're pushing down on your muscles or pushing into your muscles, that the piece of dowel rod has enough support to not snap in half or to crack. So anyways, that's what it looks like with the nut countersunk into the end of it. I'm not sure if that's necessary. Um, it's up to you. You don't have to countersink that nut. I just did it because I happen to have a three quarter inch drill bit to do it with. This is what the cut pieces look like on the stainless steel rod with one of the pieces of dowel rod connected to the end. Um, you're about done at this point. You've already cut all your pieces, your dowel rods are cut, they're drilled, you've attached um, the nut with um, the glue gun or glue of some sort, and you're about done. You just have to put it together now and it's ready to use. Uh, this is just a close up of what yours will look like when it's finished. You can go any length you want. It doesn't really, uh, 
doesn't really matter. They make them up to 24. I made an 18, and they make like a 10 inch one too. If you guys enjoyed this video, please rate, subscribe, like, and comment, and share this with your friends. If you have other running friends or people who work out or athletes, they need one of these. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks everyone.